If you are an animator, a storyteller, and you're a filmmaker using uh, custom characters, I am excited to share with you my workflow of how I'm able to bring my characters from the adventures of Nkoza and Nancha to life. And I'm going to be focusing on this um, character called Nkoza, who's the little boy and brother, and using advanced skeleton rig, right, uh, together with a character creator for to see how we're able to rig these characters and bring them to life. And I'm able to animate these characters and use them on my YouTube channel over here. So I'm hoping that this will help you as well. I hope it inspires you to bring your character to life. All right. So let's go to a, a character creator 4.5, which has just been released. So this is a character creator 4.51. And there are a lot of new cool features, but I wanted to, to take just a, a minute to show you my workflow of how I was able to bring this character from Maya. So you can see the rig right here in Maya using advanced skeleton rig. It has a facial rig. So I'll do two. Uh, this will be like a three part series. Uh, first, I'm going to do the body uh, rigging. And then we'll talk about in another video, the facial animation rig. And we'll talk about some other things when it comes to taking to the Unreal Engine and showing you how I'm able to animate that. Okay. So in order to start, first you need you definitely need to go to Advanced Skeleton Rig and download the version, the most recent version over here. You can even try it out. They offer like a free version of it. And once you've rigged the character, you know, so Advanced Skeleton Rig, they have a whole tutorial on how to rig characters using their rig. So please visit their YouTube channel or their website and take a look at that. But this is where you'll get after you've gone through the full tutorial, right? And then when you're ready to export to to an FBX, which you can then import into Character Creator to rig, uh, you, you go over here, click on Advanced Skeleton Rig. It will bring up this panel. Go all the way down and then click on FBX Export. And then type in the name of the file over here. Make sure that you have history, all of these. I kind of try to follow what you see here. Again, the Advanced Skeleton Rig team has offered like in-depth tutorials, but try to follow what you see here on the screen. In terms of our settings, you can always pause and see the settings that I used, right? And so use the same settings to export as an FBX, right? And once you're done with that FBX, import that same FBX into Character Creator. So let's go to Character Creator over here. I'm going to do a new scene, so new project. Okay. And uh, before we do that, I wanted to point out some of the cool things about Character Creator 4, right? It has so many cool features that they've added into it that you, you're able to either use their pre-built models as templates or you can use your own con like custom characters to rig it, put facial animation to it, add clothing, add hair, and be able to send it to different platforms. And you can use uh, cr the crowd system. It supports creatures, humanoids, props, you name it. It's amazing. Character Creator 4.5 is packed with new features and that's why I highly, highly recommend it. And I think the favorite part is being able to also use motion capture data in it and also to use like the whole actor core library from Realusion, right? So anyway, those, those are some of the cool things that I wanted to point out. But now let's go back to Character Creator. All right, so I have a brand new project that I've created inside Character Creator 4. 0.5. I'll go ahead and click on create, create character over here. And I'm going to go to a folder. And I'm going to import an FBX file that I have exported. Click on open. And make sure you select humanoid non-standard and then click on apply. And then depending on your the speed of your computer, this might go really fast or it might take a long time. But, uh, and it also depends on the, how detailed your character is, how many parts it has, okay? So the way I've designed, the, the characters are designed in, from Maya is that we have multiple clothing on this character. And also pay attention to something that I want to, you to understand. Like here, the textures look a little washed out, but there's a reason why. You're gonna see how I fix that. But this is the character 
And the whole idea is to have the clothing in here so that I can turn on and off the different clothing types, right? And it's root node. You can also change that name. So it's not just root node. So I'll show you how to change that eventually. But first we have to see, since we're gonna be rigging, we wanna turn off some of, turn off some of this clothing. And there are some things that I definitely need to show and some that I don't show. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off some of the, the ones that I know for sure I'm not gonna need. We're gonna need hair one. Uh, we don't need the pants. We don't need the Encoder Co outfit. That one. We're definitely gonna turn off the pajamas, Kanzu outfit, uh, the pants coat. We need to turn off the uh, boots, pajamas, uh, coat, and we the hat as well. We need to turn the hat off. Uh, we need to turn off the boot. Let me type boot up here by the top, and let's turn off the boot. And then let's see if we can bring the pants back on. All right. So now we have everything we need to get the start the rigging right because you can see the skeleton now and this is a skeleton that we saw in maya right here it has been converted and now it's available in character creator 4 for us to be able to rig it right now this part is really fun and to start getting uh, the rigging part of it it's really simple first of all over here on the right hand side make sure you turn on auto assign symmetrical bonds that's going to speed up the process because i remember when we had like uh, 3d exchange you had to go from left and right and it was tedious to be able to do everything without having to mirror the result right away all right so we're going to start with this one right here double click on it click on the hip bone and double click on the left leg which is the left this one so t select the top bone don't select the ones that are below that Double click on the shin bone, click that one, um, hold down the alt key, middle mouse button, or left button rather, and then turn around so you can see the foot. Uh, double click on this one right here. That goes right there. Then click down to drill down, select this left foot node ID, mm -hmm. and you can see how it's automatically assigned into the other side. So that one, and then the last one will be the toe end, and then pick that. Okay, so we are done with the bottom part of the body. So there's this part right here. Let's go back. And if you click on this node, double click on this, give it assign it to that bottom uh, spine bone right there. And then if you click, drill down inside, there's another one that you need to assign. Double click on this and give it to the, go, go in order. And then you can also assign that one. The rest are okay, all right? Go back out. And then we're gonna work on the arms again. That's where the beauty of that mirror function, this one right here, or to assign symmetrical bonds makes it so helpful, okay? So now the characters coming in from, again, Maya and Advanced Skeleton Rig, it looks like there are multiple bonds that really, the, the one at the top is the main one. So we we'll just double click on the, sh the one on the left shoulder, click that first bone right here, and then rotate so you can see where the, like the elbow is, because you wanna assign the first bone of the elbow, which is this one right here. Double click on the elbow bone, and click on that one right there. It's important, <laughs> because that's where the arm is gonna bend, the forearm is gonna bend, okay? And then double click on the left wrist node and click on that. And automatically it's assigning all to the other side. It's saving us so much time. So what current creator is looking for is the main bones in the body, the legs and the torso and the head bone. Once you assign the head bone and the neck bone, it's gonna consider it ready to animate, but you still have to do the fingers as well, okay? So here, and on the chest area, we also have a clavicle bone. So pick the first one that's inside, double click on that, assign it to that clavicle right there. It's gonna be helpful to the bending of the shoulder. And then you can go back out 
And we're gonna go to the head. Actually, let's go start with the neck and click on that. And then neck node ID, the very bottom one, double click on that and pick the bottom bone right here, which is supposed to be the neck and then go out. Now watch ha what happens when, watch this button right here that is red. When I assign the head bone, which is right here, I just double click on this head node ID, assign it, boom, it turns green, which means you have the sufficient bones for the character to be ready to be animated in character creator 4.5 and above. So we still need to do the fingers because the character has fingers. If you if you rig your character without fingers, then this option you may have to skip. But because we have fingers, we need to go on. And what I recommend is like rotate your camera and have it placed like in this kind of uh, angle right here. And then you can either use the right hand or the left hand because there's that uh, mirror, this one right here, the symmetrical bones, it will automatically assign to the other side. So let's start with this one, double click on that, assign to the first bone, double click that, assign to that one, double click, assign to this bone, double click the end one, like that. So go through and do the same thing for all the fingers double click, assign, double click, assign, double click, assign. And it's actually assigning to the other hand as well, which is saving you so much time. So this one doesn't even take very long. It's just a matter of double clicking and clicking on the right hand, born. Okay. Now, if that happens, my mouse just moved out of the, the windows, just move back and then frame it and so let's assign to that one double click assign double click assign double click assign uh, this is the part where you probably need some music in the background while you're doing this it's kind of therapeutic to me <laughs> double click assign double click assign and the hands are complete because now if you go to this if you rotate around you notice that the left hand is also automatically assigned, right? So that is the first step to making sure that the character is fully rigged. And now it's time to test it. So click on active and let's go ahead and uh, play an animation and actually if I do click outside of uh, characterization over here and let's go ahead and add a like a tune walk and then let's play back there we go so now the character is fully rigged and it's working properly and I think now is actually the time we can fix the texture so let's go back to the textures over here uh, select our character and you can see all the textures over here. You can hold down the shift key, select all of them, click on the for, click on the first one, hold down the shift key and select all of them. Then scroll down over here to the where it says use sRGB. You see how it's at 80. For some reason it comes in at 80. Type 100 and there you have the right strength in sRGB and now when I play back you can see the character and this is 73k of this model but if I wanted to see it in smoothed mode I can select that click on the character go to the first uh, modify panel over here scroll down and turn on smooth and you can do two or one depending on your machine and press play back now the character looks smooth and is ready for animation so any animation that you have in Character Creator 4.5 and above is gonna be applicable to this model, right? That's the cool part of it, is that now Character Creator understand that this character can take on any actor core mo mockup that is from Realusion or even any motion capture data that I'm able to capture using the Perception Neuron Rococo or Xsense suit, any mockup that you that works inside of Character Creator and Iclone, 
is going to work on this character. So that's what I wanted to show you guys is that uh, in Character Creator 4, you can take a model that you've rigged using the Advanced Skeleton Rig from Maya and using this animation, you, you, you can find this on animationstudios.com.au, I think they say uh, Australia. Download it, you can download it from here, right? And these are all the different versions that you can try out. And then use Character Creator, right? Go to, if you are already purchased this one, the, you can log into your account. You can also use your Reillusion Hub and run it or install more plugins from this. And this is where you will be able to add like plugins to send to the Unreal Engine, for example, the live link. And make sure you're using the most recent one. So this is version 4.51, which is the one that has uh, recently been released. And in another video, I'll be able to talk about the most recent release of 8.5 and also Cartoon Animator 5.3. It's amazing, amazing new features that they've added over there. So anyway, guys, that's what I wanted to show you is that uh, Character Creator 4 is amazing in making, like helping you take custom characters. For me, this is uh, the Adventures of Nkosa and Nancha and be able to animate it, the characters that you can use on your YouTube channel, right? And using the built-in mock-up system, the animation system. So check this out. If you wanted to test, for example, the fingers to see if the fingers are working, under here, under motion tab, in the motion tab down at the, near the timeline, you can go to the calibration, go to the body rig and do the hand calibration. It will automatically kick you into that mod. This is mock-up as well. So let's go ahead and play. And you can see this will tell you if the character has been properly rigged, in which it is. As you can see the fingers. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That is really, really cool. And this is a custom character. This one is not a native current creator for model. This is a native model that was modeled in Maya. So if you have a team that you're working with and someone has created for you a character like this, this is the advanced skeleton rig works really well with character creator 4.5. And it makes it easier for you to rig it properly over here, make sure it works. Now the part, you see this part where it's the hand, hand goes in there? That's something that you can fix in an iClone when you're editing. This is more just a calibration to see how well everything is working, right? So isn't that amazing that you can get your native custom character from Maya using advanced skeleton rig, you know, and character creator 4.5 to be able to create your own animation ready character that you can use in your animated series, just like I am doing for Nkosa and Nancha. There's the character right, right there. And it's amazing. It's like, if you have a story that you want to bring to life, I highly, highly recommend that you get into Character Creator 4.5 and iClone and uh, be able to use some of the plugins that are amazing, like the LiveLink plugin to send this character to the Unreal Engine for animation and then for, for real-time rendering. And you can also send it to Omniverse for rendering as well. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Solomon Jagwe. I am so excited to be able to share this workflow and I'm looking forward to seeing what you're able to create to bring your stories to life. I love seeing what guys are doing out there. I am going to continue to do my best to help you on this journey. And I pray that you never give up on your dream. I pray that you never give up on your dream, your God-given dream, that is. All right? Stay strong. Please stay safe. Much love to each and every one of you. I will continue to pray for you. Bye for now.